what's going on, everybody, and welcome to the first ever recording of the Productive Agent Podcast. We're excited that you're here and joined us. My name is Tony Ruiz. I'm the founder and host of the Productive Agents, and I just want to thank you for tuning in and checking out our show. All right. Um, today's podcast is entitled Intro and My Why. So we're going to kind of give you a little bit of background of why we're doing this, um, how it came to be, and what to expect going forward um, from the podcast. Uh, so this is an extension of a Facebook group that we created about a year ago. Me and my mentors, Mark and Alan, and I'll talk to them, talk about them a lot. Um, and you'll hear uh, their names come up quite a bit. But um, we started a group about a year ago. It's grown organically to over 200 people. And I've been wanting to do a podcast for a really, really long time. Um, and now we're here. So it's really exciting. I'm a little nervous, but uh, let's get going. Uh, my hope of this podcast is that you can listen and be able to relate to the topics that we're talking about um, and it make an impact on you, right? Um, hopefully you can take one or two things from every single episode and apply it into your business and help elevate your business to the next level, right? And of course, I want you to enjoy, interact, and, and share this with your friends, all right, um, that's how we're going to pass this along and help grow this organically. Is if you like the material, share with a friend, have them check out the podcast, um, and follow. Right. So our goal overall with the with the um, group is to motivate, to inspire, to encourage, and to educate those working in the real estate industry or those that are interested in getting into the real estate inter industry. Um, so when you tune in, I, and I got this idea. I was structuring the podcast a little bit differently than just the same old thing hearing every single day uh, as you tune in. So um, we're doing a once a week for now as we're, we're going to be recording these podcasts and going live. Um, and I want to mix it up with interviews from other productive agents. I have a list that's ongoing of 20 plus people already that I plan on interviewing and talking to them how they built their business and what you can do to um, add to that. Um, and take away and, and implement for your business, right? Um, I'm also going to do question and answers. So some of my um, agents ask me questions of like, hey, how do I handle this? How do I handle that? Um, so we'll have some question and answer times um, on here. And then uh, another way that we're going to um, promote the podcast is called Keeping It Real, all right? And Keeping It Real is going to be um, where we talk about strategies of how to survive and thrive in this real estate business, right? And tips and tricks that we have learned along the ways that um, can help you grow your business and take it to the next level. So um, when you tune in, you'll hear those different types of shows throughout. So who am I? Um, what's my background? Um, why am I doing this? Let's get into a little bit of that. So um, I'm born and raised here in San Antonio, Texas, where I currently live. Um, I love it here, been here my whole life. Um, I attended Texas State University up in San Marcos between San Antonio and Austin. Had a great time, really enjoyed it, um, and I went for music education. Uh, so that was where I got my degree and uh, loved it, and I became a band director. So my first career um, was spending 11 years at Churchill High School teaching high school band, um, and it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. I loved every minute of it. Um, but as I got towards the end of that 11 years, you know, uh, six years as head director, running a program, um, dealing with parents, dealing with administration, dealing with students, all of the above, uh, it was a great time, but I wanted to do more for my family. Um, it was taking a lot of time and the money was not matching up. So I started seeing some friends of mine leave teaching and go into real estate and do well, All right? Um, Mark Chambers, a good friend of mine, did, was one of the first ones to leave. Then Alan Grulick, then Mark Kale, then Jim Ragsdale, all these people you'll hear from eventually on the podcast um, and get to know uh, throughout the time. And they seemed really happy and successful. And I was like, okay, so, something's going on here. I need to, I need to look into this. Um, so I finally did a leap of faith um, I was a little scared, uh, leaving that consistent paycheck and going, okay, commission based only. I'm going all in. I'm not doing it part time. I took all of my money from the TRS, which wasn't a whole lot. And I said, Hey, I got 10 months to live the way I'm living right now. Um, and that money's going to be drained at, at the end of this if I can't figure it out. So I, I bet on myself. I was like, surely in 10 months I can figure this out and, and have consistent income of some sort. Right. So, um, it was a little scary, 
Uh, but I committed to it and I had uh, great mentors like those guys that I just mentioned uh, helping me out along the way. And ever since my first year, I've been a capping agent. Um, I, I do not claim to know it all. I am not. Uh, there's plenty more agents that sell a lot more than I do. Um, but I have been fairly successful um, for my first year out. And uh, I am a certified mentor with my brokerage. And um, I'm a lifelong learner, and I take a lot of pride in that, right? Um, so I like to share what I learn. I read a lot of books as part of my morning routine. I listen to a lot of different podcasts um, and uh, audiobooks. So I like to take things in and constantly be learning and then sharing that with others. Um, so I'm a huge podcast fan. I've been wanting to do a podcast really since about 2019, um, and I was actually going to plan on doing a band podcast the first podcast I really got into was called After Sectionals with Darcy Williams and Leander ISD. Um, it was just a really cool, hip way of them sitting down at the end of the band day, talking about their experiences and talking about, you know, ways to get better um, for uh, their students and their program um, and themselves and taking care of themselves mentally. Um, I'm also a big sports fan, um, so I listen to a, a lot of sports podcasts, mainly uh, Colin Cowherd and Dan Patrick. Um, and then, of course, as soon as I got into real estate, I looked up some of the best podcasts to listen to um, for real estate. Um, some of my favorite ones, just to name a couple, are Agent Rise with Neil Mathwig and Stay Paid Sales and Marketing. Both have a great uh, podcast. I highly recommend you take a look at those and listen to them. Um, and of course, I listen to some entrepreneurial business. Um, and one that I'm really hooked on right now, um, he, he curses a lot. But uh, Real AF with Andy Frisella, um, I really like his message, um, and it just kind of pumps me up in the morning and, and gets me going. So um, that's one that I like to listen to. And mental health, if you haven't heard of Jay Shetty, um, he has a podcast called On Purpose, um, and it's a great uh, a podcast to listen to about relationships, about mental health, um, about health in general, um, a lot of great information on that. And what I like most about podcasts is how raw and honest they are. It's, it's not too edited, right? It's just turn on the mic, say what's on your mind, um, and go with the flow. Um, so that's kind of how I've imagined this podcast coming to be over the past, oh, four or five years or so. Um, so how did this all start? Well, this started about a year ago. Um, and about a year ago, uh, I had uh, several agents of mine that were brand new to the business, um, I had several mentees that I was helping out, and I was like, well, some of them were spread all across Texas. I have a few in Dallas, one in Houston, several here in San Antonio. So I was like, well, what's a good way to help educate um, and help them grow? So I started a Zoom, of course, right, especially during the pandemic times. Um, so we started doing weekly Zoom calls on Thursdays at 2 p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time, and we still do them to this day. We had uh, uh, one yesterday. Um, we're recording this on uh, today as Friday. So uh, every Thursday we do those trainings. And it just kind of started with me and like maybe one other agent. Um, and she was taking that information and trying to apply it to the best of her ability. You know, talking about starting with your database and, and all the other things that we'll cover in other episodes. Um, and then it just started kind of growing slowly. And then some of my mentors kind of noticed what I was doing and they asked if they can bring their agents onto the group. And I was like, I'm already doing it. So like the more the merrier, come on in. So we started this group and it just started growing and growing and growing. And now here we sit just about just past a year later and it's about uh, 200 agents, just above 200 agents. Um, and it's a private Facebook group. Anybody's invited, right? Uh, you can just type in the productive agent and I'll pop up. Um, go ahead and request uh, to um, be a member and we will accept. And so you can stay in touch with all of us. All right. Uh, a little bit about the group. I want to talk about that because, again, this podcast is really an extension of the group. Um, but this is kind of what we started at the beginning of 2022. And we decided that we're going to continue to do our weekly trainings on Zoom every Thursday at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. So we've been doing that for over a year. So if you go into the media section in there, there's over 50 videos of past trainings, um, all kinds of trainings, how to set goals, how to work your database, 
how to do Facebook marketplace, all types of things. Um, and then we also post motivational things. So uh, we see something on TikTok, we see something on Instagram, something about this is how to run your business. Um, this is just a good motivation pump up. Sometimes I'm reading in the morning, I'm like, oh, wow, that really impacted me. I'll post that on the page um, and just share that with you. Um, so we also do live events, all right? So um, every month we try to commit to one coffee and conversations, usually the second Tuesday of the month. Um, and then we also do one happy hour. And uh, all of these events are here in San Antonio locally. Um, and uh, that's usually the last Friday of the month. Uh, we do happy hour. And then in between there, we usually have a live training with um, a high producing agent. Uh, this month of September, we're going to have JJ Garena talking about database and how to uh, have 36 plus touches throughout the year for your database to give you a lot of production. Um, we do not spam. So this is not like your other Facebook groups on there that just send out stuff of, hey, I got an open house. Hey, I got a new listing. Hey, blah, blah, blah. This is what I'm looking for. Um, we monitor it. So it's me and two other admin um, that check every single post before it goes up and make sure it's not getting spammy. So it's just, again, going back to motivation, inspiration, educational um, quality stuff um, that's going up on the page. And I think you'll really like it. Again, it's not linked to any uh, brokerage, right? Um, so we don't blast anything uh, specific to any brokerage. It's just information about real estate in general and, uh, and helping and providing value. So that's the purpose of this whole podcast, right? That's what we're trying to do and bring this all together. Um, and we're trying to extend our reach further um, than just the local market here. Um, obviously, we want more people in our local market to listen to this podcast, come to the group, come together, create a great community. Of course, we'd like to broaden that stretch as we do this podcast and it gets even further outside of San Antonio and see how that grows. Um, so I highly recommend that you give us a follow on Instagram. Um, you can find us on Instagram at The Productive Agent Podcast. All right, and subscribe to this podcast. That would really help out. And uh, make sure that you share this as much as possible. So the next episode coming up um, in a week from now is going to be all about my real estate journey so far. You know, how I started, what I do in my first couple months, uh, how it grew in my first year, and then how it grew even my second, third, fourth year, etc. Um, so I'm excited to share that journey with you. Um, some upcoming shows that I'm really excited about are interviewing my first mentors, um, Mark Chambers and Alan Grulick. Uh, they have an awesome business, have been doing this longer than I have, and have so much knowledge to share with you all. I'm excited to get them on the show. Uh, another one is we're going to be talking about mindset is key, all right? And another one being why I love real estate and how it's changed my life and it can change yours. Um, and what I've learned from ninja selling and, um, just to name a few. So I have a long list and every now and then I hear something from an agent. I'm like, Oh, that's a great idea. So I jot it down on my list. And, um, this is all about a platform of sharing knowledge. And again, I want to bring as many people on this podcast as possible because it's not just me. I don't know it all. Um, I learn things all the time. I learned something yesterday in our training, um, that's going to be posted to the group here tomorrow. So, um, so it's a place of learning. It's a place of community. And I'm super excited to get this thing started. Um, so go request to become a member, uh, the Productive Agent Facebook group, right? Stay connected and, and grow with us. Uh, we thank you for joining us and hope you enjoy the content. And remember, when you find yourself kind of wandering throughout the day and maybe you're scrolling social media, you're not really being as productive as you can, think about that one thing that you can do right now to create more production and go do that one thing, right? So I encourage you to get out there and go produce. Mm -hmm.